Hi, and welcome back to Business Vision with Evolution Advisors. Today we have Darren Glover, a director of Evolution Advisors, who has over 20 years experience as a chartered accountant, business strategist, and business owner. Today we're going to be speaking with him about the importance of business planning. Uh, Darren, thanks for joining us today. Uh, pleasure, Kirsten. So, uh, Darren, it's important for business to have some form of plan for the year ahead. Uh, in your experience, what are the benefits of having a properly drafted business plan? A business plan is going to give you two major two major outcomes at the end of the at the end of the planning session, and really that is to have a goal and some strategies to achieve that goal. So importantly, it gives the business some direction about where they're going and how they're going to get there. Um, and flowing on from that, you'll find the benefits are going to be in terms of decision making. You'll be able to have a framework or a point of reference to be able to, to, be able to make better decisions with respect to your business. And you won't waste time on matters that really don't align with the strategy of achieving your goal. The other benefits include communication, you're able to, with a written business plan, be able to communicate that back to your team and your staff and, and to have your team on board and in line with the, the vision and the strategies for your business is a very powerful thing because it can help that business really drive forward at a much more rapid rate than if, if you have it all in your head. And finally, it's going to help the business plan for the resources required for the, the period ahead. So you know when when you're going to require capital for the likes of um, HR, IT investment and the like. So uh, very important in those areas. Mm. So for the for the viewers watching who are, who are in the process of putting together a business plan or, or who are going to be uh, doing so kind of in, in the near future, what advice would you give them regarding critical areas uh, that they should cover? Yeah, well, as I mentioned, the, the critical thing coming out of a business plan is really going to be ensure that ensure you've got a, you get your goal and your strategy set when you have your planning session. And as part of uh, looking through or determining your strategies, you're going to be weighing up things like uh, HR, IT requirements, financial requirements, business premises, and uh, and marketing as well. So they're the sorts of things that you're going to be considering when you're working through a business plan. Mm. And uh, you know, I just I just did a Google search, and there, and there are many organizations offering a business planning service. So, w what should individuals look for when when selecting an external organization to, to help them with their business plan? Yeah, Kirsten, it, it is very important that uh, you select a a qualified person to be looking after your business planning needs. Uh, at Evolution, we take the approach that that person needs to be someone who can ask the difficult questions, who can promote honest discussion and who can also ensure that that at the end of the session you've achieved an outcome where you have a defined goal or vision for your business and you have strategies to achieve that, that goal. Now in reviewing the strategies it's important to make sure that those strategies are specific, they're measurable, they're achievable, they're realistic and they're time bound. So that's what we call smart strategies. And if you can make sure that your strategies are smart, then you're going to have a very robust business plan that will go a long way towards achieving the vision and the goal that you set for your business. Sounds like common sense. Uh, if a business is looking for help with putting together a business plan, how would you suggest uh, the business prepare for a meeting with, with someone like yourself? Well, the way we go about preparing for our meetings is, is to talk to the people that work within the business. and. And it's amazing how much you can find out about a business when you start to talk to the people that actually work there. Uh, usually they're very honest and forthcoming with what's good about the business and what's not so good. So I'd suggest that if someone's preparing for a business planning day that they're, they're honest with themselves and, and they take a realistic view of where their business is actually at at the present time. And, uh, and if they're honest with themselves and they understand where their business sits at the moment, it's going to be a far more productive day and, and, and far more useful in determining where they want to get to in 12 months or two years' time. Well, Darren, uh, just like always, it's great having you on the show. It's great to have some insight on these, these really important topics, especially uh, today about this business planning. Uh, Darren, thanks for joining us once again. That's a pleasure. Great to be with you. Will you be available to come back again soon? 
Yes, certainly. Okay, fantastic. We'll look forward to having you. Uh, we've been speaking Great. with Darren Glover. He's the director of Evolution Advisors. Uh, check out their website at evolutionadvisors.com.au. Thank you, everyone, for watching. See you again real soon.